right Tay. Hello, folks. How's everybody doing out there? It is Monday, June 1st. This is the first uh, Monday of the month where we typically would be doing Shango's Gate down, down the hill in Bur uh, Black Cat Music here in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia, the beautiful Panhandle. To silence a couple of things. The usual, the usual suspects. Shut up. And shut up. Okay. Much better. All right. Let me get rid of. Let me get rid of the headpieces. Just doing that to make sure my sound was good. I've changed up a couple of things. You might notice a little doodad here. Okay. I'm actually using. Uh, my regular audio mic. I'm going to raise it up just a tad. The idea here is, is that I have better sound because the webcam microphone sounds like I'm beating on the side of a, of a shed um, instead of playing the drum, which is not good. Now, what I want to do is just set things up so I can kind of halfway see the, the, the chat window a little bit. Hey, um, and first things first, I want to do a little bit of an opener because it's been kind of strange out there. Actually, second thing first, I'm going to actually drop my shade a little bit. It's actually a beautiful sunset out there, um, and however, that totally blows the color off on this thing, on this poor thing. So, anyway, just want to to do something a little bit in awareness of what's going on out in the world. And so this is something that comes out of the Appalachian Mountains, and I believe it has some Africanness in it, and it's got some nativeness in it. Um, so you, those of you who know me know I've got uh, red ancestors, and I've got black ancestors, and I've got white ancestors, not many Asian, but that's okay, I do karate, so it's all good. And just to remember what's going on out there in the world a little bit. Going up on the mountain, ain't coming down till more. Mm -hmm. Going up on the mountain, ain't going down in Chain. Going up to set my soul free ain't coming down till more. Going up to set my soul. Oops, that's too much. Ain't coming down in chains. Going up on the mountain ain't coming down till morning. Going up on the mountain ain't humming down in chains. Going up to set my soul free ain't coming down till morning. Going up to set my soul free ain't coming down in chains. Uh, up on the mountain ain't coming down till morning. Going up on the mountain ain't come down in chains. Going up to set my soul free ain't coming down till morning. Going up to set my soul free ain't coming down in chains. Going up on the mountain ain't coming down till morning. Going up on the mountain ain't coming down in chains. Going up to set my soul free, ain't coming down till morning. Going up to set my soul free, ain't coming down in chains. Going up on the mountain, ain't coming down till morning. Going up on the mountain, ain't coming down in chains. 
Going up to set my soul free, ain't coming down till morning. Going up to set my soul free, ain't coming down in chains. Break them on down, break them on down, break them on down these walls between us. Break them on down, break them on down, break them on down these walls between us. Break them on down, break them on down these walls between us. Break them on down, break them on down these walls, these walls, these walls between us, going up on the mountain, ain't coming down till morning, going up on the mountain, ain't coming down in chains. Okay, that's a little something for all the folks out there who are trying to be heard out there. Um, and you know, there's all kind of opinions back and forth, you know, was it, you know, about the violence and the looting and the bus and stuff up. And it's like, well, you know, there are a lot of, of athletes who took the knee over the last over the last uh, couple of years, and basically they were told they were not they were unpatriotic and they deserve to be to be fired, to be to be drummed out, to be ignored, to be taken out behind the stadium and shot. But but no one seemed to listen to what they were kneeling about. And so now folks, and now folks are busting stuff up and certain people are paying attention. And that says something about our, our process here in this nation. Um, you know, certain people are heard and certain people are not. And, and you know, it's the fact that, that we're at a time when people are under kind of some stress. They've been in the box for a while. Um, may have not have a job, may not have any health plan, maybe running, running a little low on food, food and definitely running low on cash. Maybe a little stress out there, maybe it could it could happen. So it's 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 a it's a it's a bumpy time. It's a bumpy time. Um, somebody else made the observation that we seem to have all the money in the world to um, put our <laughs> put our our. Uh, our law enforcement and military riot gear, you know, just festooned with uh, with stuff and armor, but we can't somehow seem to get it together to get uh, personal protective gear out to all our health care workers. Yeah. So, um, anyway, I wanted to do some drum stuff. Um, Normally, this is our first Monday, which is Shungo's Gate. Um, that we have a beginner's class down in down in Berkeley, down in Berkeley Springs, um, that way, and um, and we've and we've been working, you know, various aspects of a begin of beginning rhythm, starting from square zero, and just getting people up to snuff. Now, the thing that seems to be challenging, I wanted to get it into this. I want to I want to go over basic drum t drum tones. Then I'm going to go over go over some um, the Lego solo material because that's a lot of fun, and then we're going to go into something that tends to break the brain of beginner and intermediate drummers, and that is rhythms in six. Okay, people can do the fours like real easy because one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four. It's easy. We have two hands, two feet. Um, we can count to four, and we pretty much have it down. Um, and so it's fairly simple to play a rhythm in four. Um, even if you lose track of it, you can f usually find your way into it. Like you can find a bam bam ka da bam bam ba da bam bam ka da 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 one da ka da two three four one two and three and four one two. Okay, so there you are. You're you're in it. Um, sixes are a little more a little trickier and a little harder to wrap your heads around, even though. Every drum teacher, I said, it's the most natural thing in the world. You just have to, if you have a heartbeat, you can play a three or a six. And I'm just looking at it. What you talk about? And that's what people have done to me. So I'm going to do a little bit of disassembling of the six. Now, it, um, Facebook's a little funky, so it maybe kind of kicked me back to like 7.12 to start as opposed to 7 um, because I didn't give them enough warning apparently so we're going to go a little bit past the hour hope hope that hope that's good with everybody well anyway all right so noise maker here's the now i'm using my, my, my good audio mic so 
so that way we have better sound. The hope being that the drum sounds a little nicer um, than it did before, and having the drum, the, the mic higher and the drum lower, um, you'll I'll still be able to hear me, but the drum won't sound quite so awful. So I just want to review the three the three sounds the drum makes. Okay, we got our first uh, our first sound is the bass. Okay, um, in the diagrams it's a B for bass, um, and in in our nomenclature sometimes we use gun, and when we talk about African drum, now that's typical. Now the the bass takes place in the center of the drum, um, in, in the middle two thirds. If you make if you make your shape like this, um, this is this is pretty much where you make it. Depending on your drum, every drum's a little bit different. You have to find her, his or her voice. Um, you might be in, in a, little fur, a little further back, but you might notice that my tone is changing a little bit as I come across the drum. But you want to find that good space where it's where it makes a nice boom, boom sound. Boom, boom. Using the whole bottom, almost the entire bottom of your hand, the main part of your palm, and your fingers all together. It's pretty flat, and then the thumb is raised. You don't want to get it in the way. One, two, three, four. Gun, 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 gun. Bass, 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 bass. Gun, gun, gun. Gun. Bass, 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 bass. Now the next major sound that the drum makes is the tone. Okay, that takes place in the outer third of the drum head. Um, and now we're now we're using the front part of our palm. Okay, from from about the pads to the fingertips, um, and, it, and it makes a nice and a still. Flat hand, strong wrist, and you're striking right in here. And it should sound like a good tomp sound. Okay. And in in the African nomenclature, go do, go do, go do, tone tone, go do, tone tone, go do, tone tone. The majority of most of the rhythms are done with those two sounds. Okay? Tone, 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 tone. Tone, tone, tone. Go, do, go, do. Go, do, go, do. Okay? So you have your bass and tone. Bass, bass, tone, tone. Go, gun, gun, go, do. Bass, bass, tone, tone. Go, do. Gun, gun, go, do. Now, one of the things that I keep hitting people with, because all my teachers have said it, and I'm saying it also, okay, if you can say it, you can play it. And the same thing applies to these guys, taiko drums. There's, there's a similar dynamic and also a, a Japanese language that does the same purpose. Um, but that the idea is it connects your brain to your hands to your drum. Okay, some people need to see rhythms, some people need to hear rhythms, some people need to be in the presence of somebody else playing them. But you've got to get it in your brain, and you've got to tell your hands to do what your brain says and make the drum make that make that noise. And so if you can say it, you've got a connection with the sound you're trying to make. So the nomenclature sounds very much like what you're playing. So gun Go do, and then the last tone sound is this basic sound is the slap. Now the slap is the trickiest one because it's a little finicky to make. It takes place with the with the front part of your fingertips, okay. Um, but you're actually pushing from the from the pads of your hand. You come down at about a 45 degree angle. The wrist is lowered, and the fingertips slap down onto the drum and and um, come back off like it's a, like it's a hot surface, like it's a stove top or a fireplace. Okay, different. Okay, 
And see my wrists are down and kind of out, and as opposed to here, they're here. And if someone's watching you play a slap, they should see your palm before you make contact. Okay, and we use pata to say it. So, gun, gun, and, and you should hear the difference in the sound. I think the sound's better. Give me a second, I'm gonna grab my phones because that's one way of keeping the. I have my display audio plugged off so it doesn't give me those weird, crazy echo things going on. That's just too weird. Okay. All right. So let's take it. Let's take those. Let's take those for a spin. Okay. Slap, 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 slap. Slap, 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 slap. Okay, so let's take them off for a ride. Gun, 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 gun. Go, do, go, do. Pa, ta, pa, ta. Gun, gun, go, do. Gun, gun, go, do. Gun, gun, go, do. Sorry about the pauses, those are a little awkward. Gun gun go do. Gun gun go do. Gun go do. Go do pa ta. Go do pa ta. Go do pa ta. Go do pa ta. Okay, and so let's let's run them all together. Gun 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 gun. Go do go do, pa ta pa ta. Okay. Now I notice my fingers are off the surface of the drum here, um, and that's more important in the tones and the slaps than in the basses. You, but generally speaking, you want the head to resonate. Okay, so don't stick to the drum head. Now you can do that to make a muffled sound if you want to, but that's different than having bad technique. Okay, you want to be able to make a open sound or a closed sound because you want to, not because you, you, you haven't figured it out. But most of the time, you're coming right off the drum and let the head, head vibrate and make a nice sound. You want, him, you want him or her to sing. I think this drum is, 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 is a guide drum because he's, he's dedicated to Shango. So there's, my, there's my yellow and orange uh, ribbons and this piece from some... From, uh, from from Mali that my friend uh, Gail brought us back, back to the Shango folks, um, and um, and so we're and so so what you want to do is be able to make the sounds nice and distinct, okay. um, and the same thing with the tones off the drum, same thing with and with the slap. Okay. Now y'all need to know something. Uh, I say this, I remind people, I am left-handed. But you're going to see that on the right because this is a camera. So my, so, so my dominant hand is my left hand, which is probably fine for you because you'll be seeing it on the right, on the right, side, of, on the right side of your screen. Okay, and i got to remember to keep doing this when I'm talking about it, or if I have a, uh, a diagram up, it'll be opposite from what I'm used to. Now, uh, Facebook Live will flip you, will sometimes flip. Um, what you're doing to make it easier on on this on the sent on the sender, um, but then if you if you need to hold anything up to show something, you have to write it backwards, and that's just it's too much and fudge. I'll just deal with being sideways. Okay, um, just so very briefly, just want to touch touch on um, our, our our warm up rhythm, which is uh, two four. Uh, we call these two fours because the phrase is half is half of a four beat measure. Okay, so if it's one, two, three, four, the the, the phrase is only half the length. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So each little piece is a half measure. Um, reason I want to hit this um, is that bass, tone, 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 bass, t
Now, if you can imagine playing right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, uh, for one and two and three and four and, okay. Okay, but all the main notes are basses. So one, sorry. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So you're going right, left, right, left. So that'll inform you on your handing. Win, right, nothing. Left. Okay. Okay. Boom. So if you you can imagine that as your half phrase and just drop a couple of the of the of the left half. Doing it is you break a right uh, uh, bass tone pattern with your right with your right hand, and then drop in a left in between. Add another left. seen us work with this before know that you can mess with this you can add in or drop out as much as many of the right lefts as, as, as you like is that gives you some ammunition to make easy, fast, and dirty, and, and dirty solos just based on the one rhythm. So let me go grab, let me go grab it if I can find it. Oh, that's all, um, yeah, sorry, Daiko. Overlays, overlays, overlays. Okay. Bap. There it is. Okay, have a, have a look. Suavier, that is perfectly fine. Okay, um, it took me like a month, to, like like a year, to get a, a good slap. And every time you pick up a new drum, you're going to have to get to get friendly with it and get to know it. Um, now, one, there is another way of doing it. You can just do a straight right left change. Okay, you can do it straight up, right, left, right, left. But, but if you take a look at the pattern, okay, you see there's a there's a okay, there's your bass, tone tone bass. Yeah, I mean, see those little gaps there. Okay, and that's where where lefts aren't happening. So that number one is a bass. Okay. And there's a gap, and then, tone, and then you switch right again. Another gap, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone. Now, if you, some of you might see there's an S attached to, to the to the second to the second tone, or and the and the one after four. If you want to give a little more dynamism to the pattern, you can replace it with a slap. But, but, what's, but what you can do with this is you can just play the main line. And then let's say it's your turn to make a solo. So maybe you can fill it in. Or drop.
circle, there's a bunch of you playing, and you're all like, you're all just, just Jim Bain out. When you're doing solos, go quiet. Let the other guy be heard. And then when it's your turn, some of the other uh, other roots okay so let me show you how, what the whole thing looks like filled in so here's the oops don't want that so so here's the pattern filled in if you played every note you know, all every 16th note and normally with drum logic that would be right left 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 okay and that's that's completely filled in but rhythm is more interesting if it has some holes and gate and gates in it all like a rami lay still is another one of these um it's like can play it you can play that I'm gonna turn that off so it doesn't just like get rid of the distractions Oop. okay now um, now if you play it now you can come now the, the logo Lego solos idea is to come up with is to have a, a handful of simple rhythms that you can just plug it in, plug into the uh, that you can just plug in uh, and, and and just swap in and out like Legos, but there's just short phrases that you, are easy to remember. Then you stack them up or mix them up any way you want. So, um, so you can be playing two four. And switch to a Romulan. Okay. Um, there's a here's a rhythm I call one two three because. Um, it, that's the structure. One note, two notes, three notes. Still on the same, still on the same pattern. That's a fill of two four. It's a half of a, of a four count measure. So two of those would be four counts. Um, I call one bass. Just one of those. Two tones. Then three more tones. And that's it. One, two, three. See TJ is here. Hi TJ, and you have heard this rhythm for 30 years, easy, because a certain someone we know plays it all the time. Okay. I pretty much call it drum circle number number one A, because that's the one you that most people learn right after they learn learn. Okay, because um, it because it'll fit in with a whole lot of other things. Now another simple one is is a call three three, okay, and it's basically it's a, it's that full pattern but only playing three notes, okay, bass, okay, and there you go, two of those is is a half phrase, okay, bass. So now you've got. Four phrases you can use. You've got two four. You've got a ramile. You've got one two three. And you've got three three. So, and doesn't that kind of sound kind of cool right in a row there? So if I play that, if I'm playing that in a row, that's a that's a solo right there. And and you're back. But the, w the way to make it interesting is maybe take two of these and swap them back and forth. You put two two of the simple phrases end to end, and you've got a longer phrase that sounds more complicated than it actually is. 
you're more of a badass ninja than people think you are. Um, in this song that, that Four Winds did called Gaia that was given to us by, um, by Abby Spinner and Jeff McBride, the, the main line is just those two phrases. Okay. Two, three, and then the three, three back to back. One, two, three, and then. Okay, so that's just one A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. And so bass. Try to think of it as a long phrase. Think of it as two sh individual short phrases. So, okay. so the first phrase, followed by the second phrase. But back to back, it sounds more complicated than it actually is, and you sound better than people think you are. So. So, so, so what you can do, you can come up with your own little short bits that you can just memorize and then throw out in any order you like. But the, 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 the two simple ways of doing this, you play one, then the other, and just go back and forth a little bit, and then play something a little different, then you're out. Um, the other way of doing the solo is you can do three of one thing and then one of something different. Okay, so let's say I'll play a Romulan and I'll just change the four, every fourth measure, I'll do something a little different. So I'll say. played the okay. so and that so and that also sounds more badass than than you actually are and that's actually the road to badassery is actually picking up some of the some of these things you think some of those guys who, who are just ripping it at drum circle are pulling it out of thin air no they are not they basically have muscle memory of a bunch of different things that they've done again and again and again they can just just call on them and, and play Okay, and that's, and that's also how it sounds consistent. You don't necessarily want to play in something completely different than what's going on as opposed to something that's, that's going on. Like you don't want to necessarily try to over, overlap Yanka D um, uh, with uh, Children of the Earth for that because they're just completely different different flavors or, or, cook, or Cuckoo with Bolamba um, or, or, or Shift the Telly with a couple of other things. <laughs> Ashe, <laughs> Too true, too true. Okay. You never know. One day you're going to be in a drum circle and you're going to be like, you're know, like, oh, that was pretty good. You can't do that twice in a row, but okay. You'll, you'll have a, you're going to have a good night out there. It'll be one point when you just sync up. Uh, a couple of my students have said, hey, that, that last session, I was just in there and I synced up and I was feeling it. Like, yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. It's okay. Don't panic. Don't get too souped up either, but don't. But it's that's a good thing, and that's what you want to have happen. Um, but what counts most is doing it. If you don't stay on it, 
doesn't it doesn't really it doesn't get to happen. All right, so let's do something hard. Okay. Now, each and every one of you, I'm pretty sure can count to four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There it is. Okay. And you can double that up with uh, with eighth notes. One, two, three, four, one. And then get to sixteenth. Okay. And it's a pretty straightforward right, left, right, left. I'm walking, I'm just chunking along. Okay. Now, remember when your dad tried to teach you how to do a, how to waltz? And you stepped on your mom's feet like a bunch of times, and she just got tired of you and went and sat down. You had to you had to dance with your dad. Okay, so um, with the exception of the ladies, where it's kind of the other way around. Although women seem to pick this up quicker and better than men, I don't know what that says, but it says something. But I just have to just kind of go bear with it. Okay, so a lot of a lot of beginning and intermediate intermediate drummers have a hard time wrapping themselves around the sixes, and what they'll end up doing, they'll default back to playing fours over the six, um, and then it, get, it kind of flattens out. And I'm not even going to go into syncopation tonight. That's another topic. Um, but let's but let's take a look at, at, this, at, how this, at how the sixes work. Okay, now essentially, the idea is, is you want to be ambidextrous. The big thing with... Uh, with a lot of drummers, they like to do all their basses with their dominant hand. And when, oh wait, I gotta do a bass with my other hand, holy crap. And then they, and then they just, they train wreck. Um, and the three is like that. Okay. But the basic idea is you're just, you're counting and uh, six is actually two sets of threes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those, there's where your, where your emphasis is. So a, a six will have two accents as opposed to a four, which has the one. Okay, bun, two, three, four, bomb, two, three, four, three, two, three, boom, two, three, four. Now six is bam, 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 um, bam, 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 um, bam, bam, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And so people think about that. And what they usually start to do is they try to play two triplets. So they're playing one and four on the same hand. So it's, they end up going one. Okay, they'll either do right, right, left, right, and then right, left, right again, or right, 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 right. What you end up doing is instead of having a six, you have two threes. You have two phrases that are, don't quite fit together. And it's, and it's difficult to get this up to speed. See how it's, how it's not particularly smooth? It's don't, uh, 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 uh. So the trick here is getting is getting ambidextrous. Okay, you want to swim on the drum. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go get a diagram. Prepared a couple of things for y'all. Uh, yep, that's not it. Yep, yep, that's not it. I want straight six. That's it. Now here's a straight six. Okay, and it's, it's, it is it is six notes right in a row, one bass, five tones.
totally said that wrong. Right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, Okay, just, just right, right, left, right, left, right, left. And you can do that all tones. Don't have the one that that bass gives you your anchor and let you know it at the beginning of the measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay. Now, a little more advanced would be. Okay, here's our, here's our, here is our waltz. Okay, it is almost the same rhythm, the same timing. Okay, everything is just about the same with two differences. First is that, here's our, here's that first, here's our first bass. Okay, and at four, it's a second bass. But we're going to be right, left, right, left, right, left. So you're playing, you're going to play a bass with your right hand and with your left hand, or your dominant and your recessive hand. Okay, both get to play one bass each. And what we're doing here to make it a, more of a waltz, we've taken the tones down in volume. So note the small letter T's. So big basses, small tones. Okay, see. One, two, three, four. Let's take something a little more complicated. Okay, there is a traditional song um, from West Africa. It is called Ajaja. Okay, and we're going to transition that. Okay, there is Ajaja. Almost the same, except that we've messed, we've messed with the rhythm a little bit. Okay, uh, as you see, Ajaja. Okay, see number four is a slap. Not a bass. It's the same rhythm, but got bass tone tone, slap tone tone, bass tone tone, slap tone tone. Now that, in a way, you can pick pick that up because, like, okay, this hand is a bass hand, this hand is my slap hand. I'm playing tones with both hands, which is legit. So, so let's see. That's the act the live speed of that in the song. about your, your pace. We're not going to get there right away. Okay. But this is the idea. Bass tone tone. Slap tone. Bass tone. It's the same as as the as the straight six or the waltz six, right, left, right, left, right, left, full full rhythm, no holes in it. 
okay? And bass, boom, boom. And then you're, you're, you have a sesopan, set. Now you can play a loud tone there. And if you bash it hard enough, you can do it, but after a while, it'll get kind of tired. But if you, you know, if you can get the slap happening, you'll have that boom, dun, 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 bah, dun, boom, boom. Okay, um, and this is an Olatunji song. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of it. Let's see if I can hunt that up for y'all and and toss you some of the some of the wonderful goodness of it. I'm being facetious. Okay, that's not so bad. Let's drop that in there. Whap. That's not what I wanted. Ah, that's terrible. No, 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 no. All right, I need to do something a little different than that. Okay, bear with me. Yes, there it is. Okay, much better. All right, sorry about that, folks. Those of you who use Facebook on the desktop know it's an evil beast. Okay, so if you'd like to look at it, it's got the, it doesn't just show the, 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 the break easy, so, but um, it's a call and response. It goes, ah, ja, ja, eh. And then the response is, Amy Lou, ah, ja, 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 eh. Amy Lo, ah ja ja, eh. Amy Lo, ah ja ja, eh. Amy Lo, oh mole o, ba ba ra ba, oh mole o, ba ba shika, ah ja ja, eh. Amy Lo.
So basically, if, if you're paying attention, your part is easy. It's, it's two Yoruba words. Amy Lo. That's it. Um, and you just sing it back. And you just sing it back into, into those gaps. So that's a full-on African song. And Ajaja is kind of a, the self-actualization um, Orisha, it is the I am spirit. Like, here I am, pay attention to me, I'm, I'm speaking to you. So, and this would be like a song you would sing at the start of a ceremony or ritual to like let the universe know that we're doing a thing and we want y'all to come down and pay attention to us. Okay, something a little easier. I'm going to bring out another, another, um, And this is, an, this is an ancestor song or a farewell song. I think farewell song is more correct. Um, I may have, I should probably change out the, uh, the, the titles. Um, and this is one that was taught to me by, by uh, uh, Jack McMillan. It comes from Guinea. And it's one of the songs you would sing for, 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 for honored guests leaving or, el or elders, okay? Um, and, and so, and therefore it's slower. Um, and um, there's another song that's similar, uh, Kakelambe, that is done in four and six. And maybe we'll do that some other time, because um, I don't have enough time to actually do all the do all that all the, the, the changes. But this one is a little is is is, is easier. It's slower. Um, and we'll take a look at the rhythm. Okay. Again, we've got the the, the the basis on one and four. We have a gap in there, and that gives it. A little bit of a different flavor, sort of a uh, on the, the walking stick. Okay, she that 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 boom, that that boom, that boom, that that boom, 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 that and again, so you've got essentially uh, bass, nothing, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, wait, tone, oops, sorry, bass, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, 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 tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, bass, bass, same hand, because there's no left here, tone, left. Talking about and this one's easier to do than to talk about. There's an alternate one. There's an alternate, which is easier but harder. Okay, the alternate is easier but harder because. Okay, I'm going to transition, and you'll see there's a, a little bit of a piece, and then I'll take out the main. Okay, we're only playing half the notes, and we're also playing into the space where there was no note. So. Okay. 
break our drum logic a little bit. So basically you break this down and that sits on top underneath or next to the other one. You can also play it, and you can also play it filled. Okay, and so, and that's the fill pattern, which is as I discussed before. You can play that, the, that, the, 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 but at speed, it's okay. And you use that as a, we also use that as a break in a call. So, da 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 da. And so let's play I'm gonna play that a couple times it's It's all tone, but that number four tone's a little bit more, more pop. Bump that got back at that. Bump that got back at that. Okay. And so you got a little bit more, bump, a little more talk on, on that on the on that four note. And so I'm gonna play a three and one. So I'm gonna play a three of the other and then one. So it's like. And so, if we're singing the traditional song that goes with it, and we can end up with that, and you can also play, you can also play the the alt as an alternate tone, or as or as a or as a filler or a call. So, um, I'm not going to teach the song right now because you'd have to all learn it all at once. I'll pop it up for you because I'm crazy like that. So, you bear with me just a second. I'll go get it. Boom, yes, I have it. Ooh, let's go get that. Oh. Copy. Okay, here it comes.
crazy, create all that craziness. And that, that looks a lot harder, and it is. Um, it's essentially, it's a guai guai a a o guai guai a guai guai a a o o guai guai a. That that's the whole thing. So let's set that up. Um, I'm just going to sing it. I want you guys to try to pick up the rhythm if you can. If you can pick it up, that's awesome. You're, you guys are great. Um, not, don't worry about it, but there it is in the, in the thing, so you can, you can pluck it up as, as you need to. Okay. Um, how shall we finish up? Actually, I was going to basically lighten up. Um, okay, so we're just about on our hour. I'm going to go get. Uh, the, remember the, remember the way, because that's a good, good finisher. And yeah, we're back on fours again, but we're on on the fake triplets. Bam, 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 da, bam, bam, da. Bam, bam, da, bam, bam, da. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, so this is this is again one of the one of the trip one of the triplet heartbeats. Um, and I'm just going to basically talk. I uh, did want to briefly mention once. Um, I had forgotten about this. But I meant to get more on it. Okay. The Corona Matsuri project. Um, I want to go ahead and finish that up. Uh, please go to the link there, uh, shangopercussion.org, Corona Matsuri, h.html. Let me toss the link up for ya. Uh, dink. Give me just a second. I'll get that right to ya. Assuming my machine does what I tell it to do. There it is. Okay. Paste. And okay. Um, 
and basically what I'm doing is is a mashup of uh, Matsuri Daiko. Um, basically, the chord, uh, there's a basic rhythm there, um, basic arrangement. Also, all the instructions are on the page and how to get me rhythms. Video yourself playing with this, uh, doing a solo, playing along, long, making crap up, banging on a banging on a pot. I don't care. The idea is to lively yourself up and don't let this coronavirus thing get to us, okay? Um, and I, but I would like to put it together. I'm going to make a drum, uh, collaborative drum video out of it. I don't want to get to that soon. I've only gotten a couple of contributions yet, and so if you all kick in, it'll be nice. And have fun with it. It's the idea is, is to cheer ourselves up and stop being all hung up by being in the box. Yeah, it is a little tedious, I know. So something fun to do. With your free time and all, and all y'all got smartphones with little video cameras on them. Even though I'm using my display's webcam, cam I could be on the smartphone just like y'all, or use, use my DLSR, which is I think it's over there somewhere. Um, I once tried to do a stream where I had two cameras going. Boy, was that was that fun because then the DLSR ran out of ran out of battery power right in the middle of the thing, and it's like, where's my signal? If this goes on much longer, I'll work on more technology. But anyway, if you if you have it, you know. Um, as things are opening up here in West Virginia on the 29th of this month, I'm going to um, try, try to kick in, kick back in the um, um, our ta our Tyco workshop. It got it got Jack back in March, um, but I'm going to try to do it. But it's going to be done in a uh, in a good way. Um, good way meaning they're going to keep it down to maybe eight to ten uh, people because that's about all it can fit in the space and keep some social distance. I can assure you that we will not have any problems hearing each other. Um, but I want to try to introduce more people to Tyco and generate a few more Tyco players. Um, okay. And so with that, so with so with that, um, if anybody in the in the Shenandoah Valley uh, tri-state region wants to come out, just uh, drop. That's also on the Shango site. You can look it up. Um, oh, I'm not going to. I'm going to chase you for the thing. I'll, I'll, if you're on my email list, you'll get an email about it. And I'm going to talk, talk to Janet down a Black Cat to make sure we're all good. And then something also, again, a little bit soothing to remind us that we're connected to, to, to the elements, to the world. Um, maybe some prayers for all the people out there having a hard time who are getting, getting beat on or shot at or maybe shouldn't be breaking windows and stealing stuff stuff but think it's the only way. And maybe a certain someone in his box will hear the people. That would be a thing. So maybe put a good vibe out in the world. And so this song is called Remember the Way. Um, it reminds us that we are of this universe. And the thing and these things are, are, are around us and of us all the time. And this uses yes this this Triplet heartbeat. Remember the way of the wind and breathe and blow. Remember the way of the fire and sparkle and glitter and glow. Remember. 
Okay. Um, I want to thank you folks for, for, for dropping in, tuning in tonight. Um, I don't know whether or not we'll be streaming the regular uh, Shango Percussion Day. We are planning on coming back to life. Hey, Johnny. What's up? How do, brother? Um, and we expect to be back to work on 22nd. You know, we'll mask up and get and get comfortable with one another, and we'll see what, and we'll see how that go, and we'll see how that goes. Um, but um, oh, I might be I might be back next Monday, and we don't know whether or not um, um, Tracy suffers. Uh, Shango Rhythm Jams is tomorrow evening going to be down in Ranson next to Charlestown at Black Dog Coffee. We'll be outside, but we'll be masked up and we'll have our toys and we're going to try to do a relaunch uh, monthly, drum, monthly community drum circles at Come and Drum. And whoo, how about that? <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, two hours, a two hour trip. You know, I haven't completely tossed off the idea of actually continuing to do video work and putting stuff out there for y'all. Um, on the Shen site, there is a video page that has uh, some of my videos. Most of the live streams are on the are on the YouTube page that's connected to it, and I've linked that. That um, and you can get get any of this material we've done recently, and some other things that that we that we've been done, like the rhythms we're working on for sh for shang for shango percussion, and some other cool things that other people have done that are really cool. Um, in theory, we might have uh, a Berkeley Springs circle back. In two weeks, we'll see. I'll check. We'll see how it goes tomorrow night, and then we'll discuss whether or not to, to do the third that third Monday, uh, fourth Monday. Fourth Monday will be Shango. We'll be back on. We'll be back on. And I miss you all, and I'm really looking forward to being back in the circle with you. And the fifth Monday, we'll bring that Taiko workshop up. Um, I'll look into maybe recording it and see if. Uh, Set up my gear. That's a lot of, of hardware, but um, maybe we'll do maybe we'll do that and see if we can if we can um, if we can put that together for y'all. Um, uh, we'll we'll see. I, I kind of wanted to get one under my belt first before before I try to make it posterity. Um, that said, um, prayers for everybody out there um, on the pick on the protest lines. Um, Praying, praying for the for the good boys in blue who are who are trying not to not to uh, do that. Um, camping nearby. Let's see. Here in West Virginia, we've got uh, um, there. Is, there's a couple of campgrounds like right near, right on the right on the right here in the Panhandle. They have four quarters up in Artemis, PA, um, and and of course that's Blue Ridge, that's Blue Ridge Mountain. But we do have. We 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 do ha we there, there is camping around. I should actually have researched that. That's a that's a good question. I might, maybe I'll toss that at in your general direction uh, when I um, when I, when I come off. But I think I want to have supper first. My I can smell that my wife is cooking. Um, but that said, this hat. Um, please remember all the people out there having a hard time. Drum for them. Send prayers out that everyone should be safe and that maybe the people's voices be heard. And that said, I want to thank you all for coming by, for tuning in. Domo arigato, wopi latanka, ashe ashe. And uh, thank you all very much. And keep drumming, keep practicing, drum safe. And good night. <laughs>